Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. Christopher Watts is expected to be sentenced to life in prison today for the murders of his pregnant wife, Shanann, and their two daughters, Celeste and Bella. Watts accepted a plea deal to avoid the death penalty. Sentencing is this morning at 10 in Weld County. It could take weeks before we know what caused a deadly fire at a Littleton apartment complex for seniors over the weekend. 70-year-old Michael Mitchell died in the fire early Saturday morning. 13 other people were hospitalized. Officials say they need to make sure nothing criminal took place. And the Broncos got back in the win column on kicker Brandon McManus's game-winning field goal as time expired. The Broncos beat the Chargers 23-22 yesterday in L.A. With just a 4-6 and six record, making the playoffs is a very slim chance, but still doable. Let's send it over to Lisa Hidalgo for a check of our forecast. And we are in for a really pretty week. We're starting this week off with our highs right around 50 degrees today under a mostly sunny sky, upper 40s to near 50. It'll be a few degrees warmer tomorrow, 55 on Tuesday, and then close to 60 Wednesday and Thursday, mid to upper 50s. Thanksgiving looks great. So for the next few days, any travel across the state or getting out of here from the airport shouldn't run into any weather problems. By the weekend, we're tracking another storm. That one's going to bring a chance for some snow Saturday into Sunday, and we could get a little snow snow in the mountains on Thanksgiving. We'll stay on top of it, but looks pretty good so far, Molly. All right. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us and make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.